Hello and welcome back to Frostpunk 2 and uh, where we left off last time we we finished the whiteout chapter and we were trying to get back into kind of a settled state uh, which we're getting there I think we are we've got loads of food we've got enough coal at least but not uh, much oil um, we need, we've got materials we need goods that's the thing that we need to build up next um, but we did find that um, we hadn't been doing expeditions because we didn't realise how it worked properly. So now that we do, we have got expeditions that are going out. So we've, I, think, I think we've got someone going here at the moment. Oh, one minute. Or maybe it was here. What have we got here? The ruins of Tesla City. Looming remains of a city once famed for its technological marvels. The place has a bad reputation. It's been picked clean over the years. But to our surprise, our scouts uncovered yet a yet undiscovered chamber. It housed a mechanical calculator powered by a coal to oil converter. Uh, it remains active though no one knows what it's calculating. We can either remove the converter to replicate in New London, though this will deactivate the machine, or we can send a team here to use the machine to boost our research. We have already researched coal to oil converting building. This would be a waste. Um, so I guess we create a research outpost where we have to connect. So if we connect it, I, I, I feel like these, they're not affected by, hang about, we have barely no, um, oh, what's it called? Frostland teams left, so we'll need to do that. Uh, I, I think, I think we have Frostland teams doing other stuff. So, what's this over here? Oh, this is this is our main mission, for is to uh, get Winterhorn back up and running. Interesting. We definitely need to figure out how to get some more more peeps. Some more, uh, more of these. What are they being used for? Coal settlement exploration. We need. We get 57. We need more than 57. So we've got. Let me just. Oh, I zoomed way out there. If we expand these, do we get more? Right. I think I need to do some. Frost breaking before we can do that. So let's frost break around here. Let's frost break all that. We might be able to join it up so that the heat sharing thing works. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. We've got a, a warm patch coming as well, which should help with every, everything kind of running smoothly. Service extension is now frost break the the store proposed it. Where are we at with everyone? Because we did last video have a bit of trouble with everyone protesting. They're all neutral at the moment, which isn't too shabby. What are these? Adaption. Playing against the cold is futile. We need to not give it the hubris of machines. The frost makes steel brittle. We will adapt even if it requires sacrifice. We build machines that carve our place into the ice. We improve ourselves with technology. We will rip resources from the frozen earth to sustain everyone. We bend nature to our will and we will thrive. Mass produced goods plus. Interesting. So there are like. I think these are final. I don't know. Wear and tear. We need to fix this up. 100 prefab? That should be right. We should be alright at doing that. Um, we do need to expand some housing though. This one probably could do with an expand. Do not be alarmed by Something any unusual that. noises coming from the generator. Routine maintenance work is underway. Okay. Let's, let's build it out that way and we can expand it again into here so we're sharing the heat. What's going on? Uh, frost won't stop me, the wind won't catch me, the snow won't slow me. We'll accept the cold 
I will adapt to the cold. I will surpass the cold. I'll be the best scout that's ever seen. The ice is nothing to me. Oh, you've set the city on a course towards the adaption cornerstone. I didn't even know that was a thing until now. I don't know, everything's kind of wearing and tearing now. Hopefully we've still got prefabs coming in. We'll, we'll have to wait and see there. See if this number keeps going up. Yeah, we've got 14 prefabs a week, which isn't too shabby. Idea trees, is there anything good that we can... Uh, Anything good that we can do? More pump jacks. High pressure water into the ground. Speed up oil extraction corners. Um, disease slightly increases, but we do get... What's, what's the other? Facility utilizing explosives. Rapid extraction. Squalor. Let's go with that. We've done a lot of um, increase in, what's it called, um, disease recently, so I'm kind of concerned that if we keep doing that, it will uh, it'll end up like going negatively on us, sort of thing. I think one, can we convert districts? It's a shame you can't convert districts, because I would convert these, once they've used up all of the resources, I would convert it into the goods ones, so that we can use that, you know? That makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, we have 37 uh, expeditions now, so let's do an expedition here, the highlands, and let's build the connector to there. So we can now have uh, better research, quicker research, should we say. Okay, so this is now out of stuff from the so We have to demolish this. Get rid of it. No good to us. We can expand housing. We are minus 10 still. Or we can build the good stuff. Because we are in dying years. Oh, materials now are really low. Hmm. Trade routes, we get 183. Coal mine settings, we get 60. Why did we demand so much? Um. We've got quite a lot of stockpile. We've got loads to work with about the stockpile. It'd be nice to improve um, the amount that we can stockpile. So we've got loads of food. But it would be nice that if it all ran out, we would kn know we'd have loads left over, if that makes sense. Um, okay, we'll, uh, we'll speed this up. Beaten and mugged. We need uh, watchtowers, don't we? The steward appreciates all your adoring letters. Yes, let's, let's pop some watchtowers down. Stop the muggings. How much are they? Ooh. Heat demand has decreased. It's nice. Look at the amount of coal we have over. Stock, stockpile hub. We need better stockpile. Mechanical factory, large uh, automated machinery to produce construction prefabs and domestic goods with a streamlined, streamlined workforce. Okay, we need one of them, basically. Oh, we did have a problem. Uh, industrial sized hothouse where organic waste is fermented in large mats. Lovely. Fertilizing revolving shelf. Crops. Disease is increased, but f increased, but food is increased as well. Unlock successive fertilization district ability. Increases food output and disease. We've got way, way, way loads of food, so I would really like to try and improve our storage before we do anything like that. 
food, hot food in exchange for nothing. They could have just ignored me, discarded me, I wouldn't would have understood. Instead, they fed me, clothed me, smiled at me like I'm a person. Never thought that I'd see the day when a city would provide someone like me, someone who can only take. One day I'll thank them proper, I'll give back. Step towards the equality cornerstone. Okay. Reason, merit, adaption. Who knows where that is? I, I'll figure it out one day. But um, today is not that day, I don't think. So, do we want to be putting exploration time? We probably want to be putting one of these down. But. Um, logistics. We still only have seven. I'm not sure how we improve the number of, of peeps we've got. And we've got 25 guards. So we put down one. I think we probably want a guard tower in each place, but we need to sort out our problems with materials. Just think what we do is we build industrial districts and they process uh, they material prefabs of goods. I don't think there's any way to make materials other than with so we need an extract extraction district here. Extracting all that material. Should put us back up to positive. This is going to run out soon, which will take us back down to negative. We need another extraction district somewhere that gives us material. Why can't I put it down? Like that. Perfect. And then we need to... That's already been cleared, but let's clear some around it so that when we need to, we can build another one there. To be fair, actually, we should probably build the good stuff out here with this. We've got plenty of heat, so we don't need to worry about that right now. Fracturing pump jack. We, we can do that. So let's uh, get off of this page. Page? Uh oh. Oh no, is that oil? Oh no, that's extraction, that's fine. Get rid of that. But here, we can build. Why can't we do that? Heat stamps. Alright, well, we just wait for heat stamps to. Whoops heat stamps come in and we build the pumps on each one of these and we'll be good. I think we'll actually be making loads of oil there, won't we? That's connected. Is that on? I think it's on. Yeah, no, that's on. So Tesla, oh, I keep pressing exit when I think I'm in like a menu when I'm not. All right, they've finished. So, uh, uh, abandoned lazarette. Uh, built hastily during the 1901 plague, these buildings were used to quarantine infected Londoners. Now they lie silent and forgotten. Scores of wooden crosses and grim reminders of what, what transpired. We Should we decide to disturb the dead? Dismantling this place could yield some raw materials. Tension is slightly increased, but we get 300 prefabs. Let's come back later. We don't need prefabs just yet, but it's good to know that we, they're there just in case we do need them. Um, our scouts met a wise woman from which, for which these hills are famed. Some are in fact New Londoners who left during... Oh, met the wise woman. Some are New Londoners who left during the captain's first days. They would be pleased to return to New London now that we have a council. They say that they could bring some cause with them. However, some of the captain's most loyal followers consider these women traitors and think they should remain in exile. Plus free cause, which we need... 500 extra population. Relation will worsen with stalwarts. It's always bad with those guys. They're just nothing but problems. Let's take them in. Um, what's this one saying? 
abandoned research station. Inside the abandoned research station, our scouts found a circle of frozen naked bodies lying around a strange idol made of ice. Nearby sat a pile of stalwart uniforms. The station has fallen into disrepair. We could salvage it for prefabs, but the stalwarts would prefer that we destroy all evidence of this place and redact it from the official record. Well, we do, don't want them to kick off with us, so maybe we do that. How much would we get anyway? Only 300 prefabs, so. Uh, let's, let's erase it. That's fine. We don't need to know anything. Um, right, next place to send our, our scouts to. The mountains, high pass. The mountains. Let's go valley. Materials, cores, and prefabs. And it's safe. Perfect. Oh, what are they saying here? Uh, sweeping says, uh, My first shot, mine. I earned uh, off the sweat of my own back. I put my nose to the grindstone, stayed focused, and was rewarded. This city slowly proving to be a haven for merit and hard work. Next, I'll buy a shop around the corner, and I'll expand. And it will be Ollie's outlet um, at every corner. Mark my word. I'll show them my worth. I'll charge them accordingly towards the merit. We've got a lot of cornerstones that we're working towards. Merit, I did see. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, and there's equality. I think we're closer to adaption, aren't we? Flipping heck, we're absolutely steaming towards that one. Um, this, so what's this? This is housing. We need, uh, probably need, we're getting more materials in, but we need more. Extraction district. Or should we just expand this one, actually? Well, let's just make that. Uh, can we expand this one? Get that. Perfect. And then there was... Is there more? Yeah, there's more there, but it needs to be... Cracked open. Okay. So we'll frost break that. Now we need to build. We are running low. What's what's our stamp sitch here? We get 15, 17 coming a week. We were we were absolutely minted for heat stamps before. Now we barely got any. What's multiple cities is minus. Central district is nine. We need to try and get some more heat stamps in, really. Not sure how we go about that, but we'll figure it out. Right, we need to build industrial districts, which can go... Pop one there. There you go. And that can work on goods. Do we need stuff to make 14 prefabs? We probably need prefabs as well. Otherwise we won't be able to make it. But actually the expedition's coming in. What's going on? What's wrong? Crime is severe. It's because the goods are so low. Okay. Population size is way too high as well. Interesting. And growing, because we've got the um, we've got that. Can we just turn that off so that we don't have an increased population growth? We can turn that back on whenever we need it, right? That seems fair. We've already got stuff going out to there. What about this one? Um. Only costs ten. Oh, we should be sending out way more. Get everyone, get all of them going out and sorting stuff. And when they all come back, we should get loads of prefabs. And oh, we've got cores now. We need to sort out crime. Crime is an absolute atrocity right now. We need to figure that out before doing anything more. I've realised what all this stuff is now. Squalor. 
Remember to keep your heat. In Inequality Street. Steward, a brawl has erupted between the street sweepers assigned to different districts. Hey, it's bloody unfair. We bust our asses, scrubbing dust coal out of the gutters near the generator. Those lazy sod twiddling their gut. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they are not talking about good stuff here. Um, all for the same pay. Um, so what's agreed that equal pay law rewards sloth and punish, punishes industry. One said that they're delegates to their delegates. It's fundamentally wrong, but if it re uh, must remain, at least account for the difficulty of one's assignment. Amend the law is less effective at increasing trust. Relations slightly worse with the pilgrims. Stay firm. How bad? Pilgrims love us at the moment, so let's amend the law. We're favourable with the Pilgrims, so they, they, they won't kick off too much, I don't think. We need them to be producing goods. Oh, you can do both. Prefabs and goods. Right, and then we need to make another industry. Let's build that. Yeah, and we'll do that prefabs and goods as well. We have no work of love for that though. Acts of vandalism. What's where is it? Can we not? Can't really afford to be fixing stuff up for you degenerates. So the Frostlanders love us. The pilgrims love us. The stalwarts are neutral with us, and the New Londoners are neutral. We need to keep that vibe going, where everyone is at least neutral. Right, no resources here, so we're going to deactivate that. Help us keep you warm. Steward. Right, crime. Steward, we're struggling with crime. A group of stalwarts have come forward with an idea how to solve it. We should research Thought Correction Prison. <clears throat> Let us pursue it, um, and the city will benefit. Stewarts will look with distrust with other stewards look with distrust at what other communities per propose. Um, they would surely appreciate you getting behind their idea. Uh, what does that mean? What does the thought correction thing mean? Prison with therapy wings utilizing in uh, secure criminals of aim. This sounds dodge, right? Sounds a bit. What's the other one? A surveillance hub. 60 weeks to turn it down to major crime. Ah, go on. If they have done. They've, we've got a load of criminals, we might as well deal with it. We need to sort our goods problem out, and then once we have. just missed him as well. I thought I just built all over the stuff we want to extract. So we will... For goodness sake! We've got more people come to live with us. We are... We need to do another... Let's... Let's slow this down for a second. Our elderly citizens are encouraged to pre-register their funerals at their pre -register local your harvesting funerals. Love it. What a great idea. Um, it's not uh, pressing at all, is it? I think it's prisons that we need to do. Fort Correction Prison. There you go. We're, we're getting 
We're getting there, but we need to sort out overdue fix. Steward, some of the workers sent maintenance sent to maintenance duty yet for not meeting their shift quota seem to be doing more harm than good. Look at that this gearbox. They call that lubrication good for nothing, useless burglars, the whole lot of them complain. Stephen Chaw's an experienced foreman who reported and repaired su many such blunders. Some all whip these uh, oozlers into shape, I tell ya, he went on. Uh, and hell, I'll do it for a small fee, obviously. What should we do? Um, if this is... If uh, this is what we take to improve performance... Um, we'll provision heat stamps for proper training. Unproductive do maintenance, decrease heat stamp income, but is more effective at increasing production efficiency. Yeah, go on then. We need, we need productivity. Oh, look at that, productivity. So we're, we're now some goods. 54, we, we need to be making goods galore don't we that's the problem uh, oh we've got enough workers for it though look at, that, look at that so let's go industrial again oh we need to do okay oh my goodness there you go another one this way then we want to probably do this bit so we can do the uh, what's it called the material collection there once we've got goods sorted oh I will say when this game saves it absolutely destroys it, the game on my PC Stable is now it's now gone down to stable, so we need uh, we need to get housing sorted after we've done goods, which should be done once we've built two more extraction areas. Let's speed this up actually. So let's play now. We need uh, not extraction. We need industrial. Yeah. Yep. We need another one. Uh, let's go here. We keep them all in with each other. Then the the heat isn't a problem. I th I, I'm starting to figure out the heat thing. It's it's working for me now. An extraction. Perfect. Do have food here. Deep fertile soil. Accessing deep deposit requires deep melting drill building. Do we have that? Uh, food. No. Do we? Need, uh, maybe that's something we need to research. So it looks like that's something which we're going to need soon because our food is going to start running out. So let's build like a small food area here. Perfect. Um. And then we'll figure out the drill because I can see food is running low here and here. Is there any more food around here? Actually? No, we've literally built on all the food areas. Logistics we've built everywhere. Ah, housing. Housing. Right. Look at that. Perfect. So if we build in here. Plus 20 heat for building that housing. What are we running low on? Is it workers? Or is it heat stamps? I don't know what, why it's saying we're running low there. Hang about. Clear this area. Because this would be a good area to do to, to build out or at least expand. Okay. I think we're uh, we're cooking with gas now. We're running a, a tight ship. 
the stalwarts encourage all citizens to join in their daily roll call. Oh yes, we're finally up on goods. I think that's for the first time ever we're, we're up on all of these. Food could be better. We're in plus two. But we have a massive stockpile, so I'll, I'll take it. Uh, do, 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 you agree to have Stephen Shaw's train on productive, improving efficiency, uh, giving them a new sense of purpose. I put the pipit in. I take the pipit out. In, out, in, out. Spray it all about. My pa always gave me the belt. Never taught me a uh, single damn thing. Check the bolt on the left. Check the nut on the right. Left, right, left, right. Screw it all tight. They told, they all told me I was good for nothing, but I'm good at this. I'm useful. Sounds like my butt. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but there you go. Um, once we've done this, I think the stalwarts will be on our side a little bit more. I'm just worried that the pilgrims are going to kick off because we've got two red. I think once that red fist sign fills up that means that they're gonna gonna kick off you don't want that now do you why is this district been deactivated oh it's got nothing in it okay get rid of it right so we've got goods we've got materials we've got food housing is a bit of a shambles to be honest we need to improve housing by a fair bit. So if we build here. Another bit for housing. We're building kind of, we're connecting our other housing area now. It literally goes all the way across. Actually, can we connect it? Oh, we can. Let's build another bit of housing across here. A little bit smaller. Well, that will go because we're destroying all this stuff, aren't we? So that'll be fine. So all of our housing is now technically connected. Which actually, I don't think is a good thing. Because of if there's like anything bad that happens, it can spread between districts. So we could literally get something bad happen up here. And it would travel all the way down. Cool. That's been researched. I need to research the resources of the food drill goods factory advanced hot houses I need something to do with food but I'm trying to figure I'm guessing if we go this way or maybe it's something maybe it's frostland no that's for going outside of the city housing block hmm I think actually I'm going to do this because after that there might be increased like housing, like better housing so that we can store more people in each district and we don't have to keep going on with all this district stuff. 10, minus 10. And we're still doing great for um, build it across here. Still doing great for um, coal. Stockpile is full and we're, our requirements are pretty low. Plenty of stuff we built here, prefabs. We're probably a little bit low on. We might need to. We've got loads of workers, so let's build another. The steward hmm. appreciates all your adoring letters and will answer personally in due we need time. To build stuff that makes prefabs coughing fits steward i've no noted a rise of chronic lung condition after we started pumping recycled heat on into our housing districts our doctor suspects fumes from the industrial plants where the heat originates leak into people's homes install filters heating recycling is less effective at increasing heat output Let's do that. That's fine. Look, we're still plus 33. 
333? 333. Um, oh my goodness, I just realised we've probably got loads of stuff out here to do. Cold season, heat demand has increased. Okay, hopefully not too bad. A uh, huge mine smelt and smelting apparatus provides steel used to construct nearby generators on behalf of the Imperial Exploration Company. A crew of thousands once lived here within the uh, and below the machine, only a small fraction of whom made it to New London. The captain sent a crew with cores here to establish an outpost. There's no sign of the crew, but the cores remain, along with many salvageable components. We can take it all back to New London or finally restart the smelter. So we can take 500 and four cores or restart the machines we will get materials which we are going to run out of let's let's yeah will it reach that far so it really doesn't want to go that way oh my goodness it needs a lot to get um, go for that and then once that's finished we'll connect it I think the meadow probably needs to be expeditioned next um, what's this one freezing winds buffet this uh, part of the valley following our oldest maps our scouts found a generator constructed site buried under snow but it's a little a little but little of use remains. Um, the area contains some resource deposits, but are too inaccessible accessible to benefit New London. Okay, fair enough. This place is too barren to benefit us. Interesting. Interesting it remains on the map, though. Um, what's this one? Rowett Expedition Possible Settlement. The abandoned base welcomes us with... Uh, fortitude sign. The roof has collapsed in on the lab where scientists studied uh, the cause of the frost, but the training halls remain intact, along with equipment used to attempt to contact other generator cities. Uh, we could take all the preserved supplies back to New London, or we could leave them, making reactivating the base less costly. Take supplies, pre cores and pre under uh, prefabs, leave supplies, uh, fire up the radio tower and better equip our scouts with what lies ahead. Mm. Having cores would be helpful. And the prefabs are needed at the moment. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. You never know. I don't even know if we, we can't because we don't have enough people. But we will get more people back, I think, after this. Uh, an ironwork sits at surf. Uh, at the surface of this mine, it was covered and designed for wagons and transport. Smaller glasswork once had fabricated and fragile scientific instruments. A um, few tools remains after years of scavenging, but there is still iron at the very bottom of the shaft. An outpost here would increase supply by 200 materials until the 2 million materials is depleted. Yes. We want that. We need 10. And we have 8. This is very annoying. Okay. What's the one here? Uh, languid herd. Lang languid? Languid? Not sure. These reindeer seem to be slowly dying away uh, to the constant storms and lack, uh, and lack of edible form. They won't survive too many more years. Perhaps we should send out our hunters while we still can. 90 food, 29,000. Uh, I don't even know if that's worth it, to be fair. What's all the way back here? Crumbling warehouse sits by a dilapidated track. It has been pillaged many times by scavengers. One of our scouts notes a metal trap door. She drilled through the thick metal and entered a buried chamber containing pristine core. Instruction manual in the chamber below showed the core was intended to drive a locomotive. Are we... Are we we can refurbish it for other purposes in New London. It would take a call. Um, I think for now, that's all we can do because we're so low on people. A cold spell will soon hit us. Prepare a 
accordingly. Really have enough. No resource deposits there anymore, so we'll have to demolish that. We are running low on materials now. Not good. But we've got enough housing. That's something. We need those material outposts built. Why are there so many... What are we... Trail 10, coal mine... I'm just so low on... Oh, I know why. 22 now. Okay. Pause it. We're going to build... This... Here. To there. So we've got materials coming from there. Once this is finished, we then need to connect it up. So we need this. Oh, we need 20. Okay. Let's speed this up. What's going on? Pilgrims begin rallying. Bursting with support, the streets fill with pilgrims. What do we want? More workforce? We've got plenty. Heat stamps would be good. Exploration time. That's definitely needed. Right, let's uh, pause it. We need to go... So we've built this, and it's gone down to here. We now have to go... now connected I don't think that's connected to anything though which means we then need to build from there all the way over to there but at least it's it's on its way alright let's, let's play I think we might have materials now coming in installing filters between heat pipes and machine exhaust uh, you amended the uh, heat recycling law to impose filters done god what a moronic waste those weak hearted fools have made us spoil this system with filters and what for some geezer can wheeze along for a three mil years so a con consumptive brat can get suck suck up resources so these the inevitable occurs if they're to die let them get on with it life sustained by machines is not worth living flipping egg okay that was a bit intense wasn't it i don't think we're getting the materials come through just yet No, we are 250. Extraction mine 525. Hang about. What? That doesn't make any sense. 621 is demand. Requirements 543. Oh, yes, it does. Okay, we might we might be uh, in trouble if we can't get some more connected. So let's get this connected. We should get stuff from here. What's this one? I think the trial these trails will be connected. What trail did I make? Oh, did I not make? I don't think I made it um, the one that works in all weathers. If we build these, it's easier. I mean, cost not to met. Oh, come on. What do we need? Oh, is it heat stamps? No, we've got loads of heat stamps. Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, my, my, my. This is not good. It's all starting to fall apart now. We should probably... A, let's have a look on here. Housing distribution, workers' housing. What's this? 
Everyone is allocated a minimum living space required to meet their needs. People with, with more space are required to take in strangers. Shelter provided by housing is increased, but tension is increased. That's not what I wanted. I was hoping it'd be bigger work uh, living areas, but no. Um, what do we need? What do we need? Maybe foundries should be the next one that we do. Eating, something we can... Advanced coal mines, advanced pump jacks. Ooh, one minute, advanced pump jacks. Facility using massive reciprocating rods. Squalor is increased. Rapid. Um, oh wow. Like 220 oil output with that one. Let's go with that one. They'll get them on our side as well. They'll like us for, for doing that. Okay, we're low on goods Please now. Give the right of way to frost breaking teams in transit. We need to build industrial if we build one in here it'll be fine perfect and then another one perfect and this will have to go we probably have to do the wind pump in the same right why do why are we lacking is, is it because of all these we need to improve how many people we get for how many people we have for logistics for sure um there's a change in your uh reason cornerstone there's change in here i can smell it it hangs above the council hall settles between the pages of the books kicks up under the snow when children run by we've only taken a, f a few small steps away from our old traditions but every great change starts with a single step so excited to see what the city is going to do, what the steward is going to do. Okay. We need, actually, what if we just increase each one? Oh, of course, we are. Let's go like that. We'll build out towards there. Oh, it's saving, which means it's gonna absolutely die. I, I will say, hopefully it won't happen soon. We did have a real big problem with the audio, like going wrong last video. Doesn't seem to have done that anymore. So hopefully that that is that and we've got to improve. Um, provide one additional building spot. So do we need to build one minute? What happens if we build something on Um, housing block, we don't need that. Headquarters. Base of operations where staff and officers subject to handpick scouts to intensive drilling and oversee exploration. Does that mean we get more? No, it's just exploration time. So we need to research something so that we can get more. How are we doing for food? Everything's gone wrong. Why is everything so low? <laughs> oh no. Maybe we're taking too long about this. Maybe we need to connect this up. So if we turn this off. What's this? Uh, oops. this off we have 20 who can then well we need to build just quickly between there and there 
just so that the connection remains good. What's this one again? Oh, we can... Oh, we can create a settlement. How's more researchers? Hmm... No. We're going to turn that off because we need people. So if we click here now... Uh, descending into the Valley of Windholm will be very challenging. You'll need to divert resources, manpower, and attention to New London from New London. Are you certain you wish to confront this new challenge now? Let's just go for it. Otherwise, we're going to get stuck um, forever trying to get sorted out. Stewards, ra a radical group of pilgrims have come forward with a proposition. They suggest ensuring the leading members of the stalwarts end up included in the colonist group that we set out for Winterholm. The stalwarts have been the source of discord in New London, one member of the pilgrim says. Make sure most of the fervent uh, among them join the main group of Winterholm colonists. With them gone, New London can be free from protests. I think that actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, include stalwart leaders. You know what? I will do that. Off you go. Alright, so we've got that happening. Do we have to connect it? Oh, it's already connected. They're, they're traveling there now. Okay. We still need to figure out how to do the, the, the deep digging the buildings. Should be food, right? Or is it extraction? None of it, really. I think for a first playthrough, I don't think I've done any of this right. I'll just put that out there. Ooh. Okay. We're on minus all of a sudden. What's going on? Where's everything gone? Oh my goodness, minus 512 for uh, materials. Goods are actually alright. Goods are the only thing that's good now. We've got so much population and nothing to do with them. We need to... So let's speed this up and see what happens. Oh, what are they saying here? Uh, freight dock. Uh, steward, pilgrims have extended their activities to a new district. They have entered, um, erected uh, a stage and now hold periodic rallies uh, there as well. During uh, the most recent event, they announced a new idea regarding freight docks. They presented the result of their private study atten attended freight docks to the city. Uh, we've done the work. All the steward has to do... Okay. What is it? Train terminal optimized for a uh, train to accommodate porters traveling alongside the freight and responsible for its safety, loading and unloading. Um, so plus capacity for the sky uh, skyways and re pro resource production in outposts connected by skyways is significantly increased. That actually sounds pretty good. Okay, we'll we'll uh, hmm. okay. Wouldn't let me say yes to that straight away. We're in a we're in a spot of bother, I think. Okay. Still in that helped our um our heat generation and stuff, and it's going to get warmer as well. We are just in trouble with food now. Quite a bit of trouble actually. Beware of frostbite. Okay, violent criminals are still Your doing their thing. How do you prison again? Let's, let's snap a prison down and see if that helps things. Uh, let's put one there. Oh, saving. It's going to cause problems. Oh my 
my goodness, it takes so long to say. What's this? Fate of Winterholm. Uh, the Winterholm expedition has arrived in the cursed city. Cores under the ruins could be used for further upgrades. New London's generate uh, to, to further upgrade New London's generator, bringing about levels of warmth we never dreamt of. To reach the cores, we would have to demolish the ruins, split the earth open to access those that are buried, and extract them quickly before the toxicity renders Winterholm forever uninhabitable. Um, alternatively, we could seal the toxic fissures, forever burying the most most of the cores. We could bring uh, we could bring an avalanche down to batten down the cracks, uh, then work fast to, uh, to manually close what remains. But afterwards, we could build a new city here and use it as a springboard for our expansion. Whichever you choose, whichever approach you take, there will be no turning back. Okay. I was um, initially on, on the idea for settling the winter home, but I actually think we should salvage it because I don't think we're going to be able to keep winter home, winter home and New London going. So we should try and focus on New London. Oh, here we go. explosion and we're at home sounded oh we're on chapter four veracity did I pick the wrong one extracting the cores from the ruins of winter home will be dangerous the gas will build up over time as toxic fissures are now fully exposed if we want to minimize casualties we should frost break and extract those cores as fast as possible Let's pause this. Winter home colonists. Right, so where do we need to extract from? Okay, we need to frost break. We need to do it quick. Get these cores and get out of here. Basically. Can we turn the furnace on? So we go, we're going to have some coal. Transferred. Food is a problem everywhere. So is material. Goods. We're good with. So let's do that. And then turn the generator on. Oh. Yeah, we're all good, look. So we've got some heat. We need some homes. Oh, we need to just frost break like mad. To be fair, it looks like we can get materials. Oh, should we be doing safe frost breaking? Rather than rapid. I don't want to like hurt anyone. I think the pilgrims probably are kicking off right now about us, so... What the heck is this? How are we supposed to frost break? We need to get... I'm really confused by this one. How do we get up there? Oh, that way. Okay, we can't do much more until the frost breaking has finished. Okay, I think the the uh, pilgrims were kicking off if we had them such high. Uh, rapid frost breaking harms workers. Automated frost breaking. Rapid frost breaking can lead to injuries and death. So much going on. This time to rest, steward. More and more citizens are contesting the community service law we have in place. The whole thing is a scam, just a way for the city to build coffers while poor sods uh, do pointless chores. City have survived. We must 
keep willing to keep must we keep toiling endlessly uh said a tired young man finishing his shift it is true that we are in no immediate danger nor do we have any pressing needs maybe we should consider doing away with the community service altogether uh yeah let's do that makes sense to cut that city oh my goodness look at all the stuff we can do no i did not want a heat pipe watch i wanted no community service propose um you know what there's probably enough hesitant that will vote for it that will it will get passed i hope oh no the votes Flipping heck that was close in. the measure passes the one attended breakdown. Okay, that one needs to be done. There's a lot going on right now. In the council. 15 Take minutes for the next gas outburst. So, gathering up force for generator upgrade and research and construct generator. Symbiotic regulator. Okay, well let's have a look at it. Getting the research done so it's ready for when we need to. Is it this one? Yep. Okay, we're researching that now so that when, when we need it, we can do it. <coughs> Excuse me. So the main thing we need to do now is... Hello. Uh, okay, very unhappy. Some enraged pilgrims aim to sabotage. Oh, flipping egg. I think either way you're going to get sabotage because of um. What's going on? Why can't we build there? Is it only materials that can? Okay, pilgrims are a little bit happy with us. That's good. Let's um, pause this. Frost break. More areas. Like so. How how does one get the cores then? Don't have enough workers to do any more frost breaking. Don't have enough workers to do anything really. That's great, isn't it? Hang about, we've got loads of workers. So let's transfer our resources. People. There you go. Now we're going to have plenty of people. To, to help with sorting this all out. Speed up, come on. Cross break uh, increased, nice. We do need to build homes, but let's. So it did work. For some reason it didn't work last time. Maybe you didn't have enough space or enough people. Right, so we need to extract. Oh, I hate this one. This is really hard to see. Are you freaking kidding me? Can we not? Did we not? That one little bit we didn't do. Okay. Once that's done, we can do... Some more. Where's the thing on? Oh, something, something big's kicking off. Upon reflection, the pilgrims uh, are appalled by your treachery regarding Winter Home. Your last minute reversal appears to be blatant betrayal. Now, uh, we see now that you were playing us for fools when pilgrim their uh, leader spits. Never again will we believe a word, your word, steward. You've proven how little it's worth. 
The pilgrims have further united in their contempt for you and they gather with more purpose and zeal than ever before. Great. To be fair, they're still neutral with us. So we, we might be able to get this one sorted. Although I am concerned about our food situation here. So we're running out quite a lot. There was some food actually. That could be... Where was it? Here. Let's do a... No? Is that connected? Definitely. Um, once that's finished, speed that up. Oh, it's kicking off now. Somewhere, something's kicking off. This is not an easy game to keep everyone happy, is it? Sabotage. Some of the colonists swayed by the pilgrims among them have begun sabotaging our efforts. <clears throat> Tamper with buildings and heavy machinery. We could build watchtowers to maintain order, but some of the stalwarts whispered are uh, more extreme solutions. Um, human experimentation. <laughs> okay, let's um, we'll do the watchtowers right here because I'm not going to experiment on people. Jeez. Speed this up. Alert! Toxic gas levels have risen. For goodness sake! Death to stalwarts. Uh, stalwarts, we discovered, rans uh, steward, we, we discovered ransacked provisions. They forever tainted a place that could have been our new home, carved in the warehouse walls, followed by death to stalwarts. Three of our workers did not report for their shifts. Uh, they were known to be pilgrim members, investigating brawls and uh, vocal in their hatred, instigating brawls even, and vocal in their hatred of the efforts here in Windhome. Their fate is left to the frost now. We need to have our eyes peeled for violent radicals. I mean, come on. Chapter 4 is basically die, isn't it? We don't have enough workforce to build housing. We do now. Let's build some housing before everything kicks off. We don't even have housing. Let's, let's just extraction... There we go. Perfect. If we extract as many cores as possible, as quickly as possible, then they should be alright, right? Uh, steward, uh, you had the pre-science to, uh, pre to task our researchers creating the perfect worker for Winterholm some time ago. Because of your foresight, lives have, will be saved. Well done. Now is the perfect time to utilize our Apex workers. Oh. oh you did alright then, didn't you? Let's speed this up. What's going on now? Tension between is rising. Okay. Well. We have like nothing here. Workers now? No, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. Need to do some uh, savings, so it just kills my game. Oh my goodness. It really kills the game when it has to save. There are so many of these damned. Um, cause I don't know if we're going to get enough we need 40 but in 17 weeks it's going to get even more toxic we're basically condemning all these people to death fantastic I'm just about done with these peeps I now not prospering. No, it didn't look like it. I 
already repaired you. Why are you not repaired? Oh, I mean, it's warm. That's the one thing we're able to do. I do think it's easier to keep places warm now. He says, oh, it's because they don't have shelter. There's nowhere to build shelter. I don't think we're going to do this. I think we're going to fail. Um, at... Uh, this chapter four because we just we need more as well. We need to get some more people to just do all the work. What do they want over in New London? It's it's so much to like like look after. Uh, guards have uh, apprehended a member of the Pilgrims near the Council Hall, caught him loitering with no good reason to be there. Said one of the guards, uh, we found a notebook full of timetables of the stalwarts delegates coming in and going. He refused to explain the purpose of these notes. On the last page, we have found the following scribble: the dream of expansion we lost in Winterhome must be avenged. Oh, for going to say, closely surveil pilgrims. Yeah, go on then. The pilgrims are a problem, the stalwarts are a problem. To be fair, the Frostlanders and the New Londoners are just people trying to get on with it. But we're we're having more and more problems. Uh, we're running out of food in a big time though. Uh, we're gonna have starving people soon. I wish we knew how to what am I researching here? What do they want me to research in here? There's a little exclamation mark. Automated workforce. Uh, we're not far enough along, which means that that's one thing that we're going to miss out on. Oh, it doesn't have a time limit on it, so that's something. People aren't there yet. They're on their way, but they're going to take some time. By the time they get there, yeah, it's going to be more toxic. 47 weeks, 46 weeks, oh, jeez. Alert, toxic gas levels have risen. Take precautions. It'd be great if we could just sort this out, people. I don't think we need to go out there. We need to go this way. There's a frost break. And then build extractions on. We've got thousands. If we can just get 40 cores and then get everyone out of there, we'll be great. It's just going to take its toll on our relationship with a lot of different. Have no problems higher than minor in a colony for 300 weeks. What are you talking about? Look at this! <laughs> I, that must be New London, because we're definitely not doing that here. Um, more frost breaking. Where are the rest of the... Um, the rest of the cores are just up here. So we need to... Perfect. And then build extractions on... There. Got 20. We're halfway there. Might, due to some hunger, some people have starved to death. <laughs> we need food as well. I mean, we've got 37 um, exploring people. We need somewhere that can provide food. Let's launch expeditions. See if there's anywhere that will have food. Uh, the old dreadnought. I think the old dreadnought are the people who have just been absolutely fine. But we are. We do now have starving people. So if we can just get all of the cores we need before it all kicks off and we get kicked out, our trust is really high at the moment. So I think we should be able to. Oh, I know. I know. It's not good. There's a lot of bad things happening here. Right, 
build and go. Will, will these work? I didn't mean to do that. I didn't want to zoom in on the, the horror. Let's re repair. 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 Let's see if we can get up to 40 cores before... 24 weeks. That's how long we've got to get 40 cores, basically. Look at the absolute disaster that's happening here. Although, New London seems to have chilled out. We just need to try and get food. That's the other problem we've got. Oh, no. That being said, what's this? Here, Stuart. People starve to death unless hunger is brought down. I know. I know. What do I do? Very queuing. We have no... Oh, you know what I could do? I could build some bio. So this one's still got food in. And build another one. And this one's still fine. No, that one's out. That one's out. Let's build it there. And build another one there. And we need to figure out the digging thing. How many? How many? Twenty-seven. Speed this up. I think we might be able to make forty. There, look, we've got thirty. We're ten off. saving and a lot of people have just died from toxic gas do we even have workers there anymore 35 what are they, what are they saying Stuart. the bell tolls Stuart, we dug too deep plowed forward until the gas changed became stronger more potent those who didn't get sick immediately started seeing things people they were rabid with fear. Oh no. So basically they're all dying. But does that mean we aren't able to get the 40? 38? 39? Nine. 40. Done it. Right. So let's just pause it here. What's going on over here? Endless cold is accumulating and accumulating ice is taking a heavy toll on our district. Steel grows brittle and cracks, but wood deforms and splits. Wind batters our city. We need a steady supply of material. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are really low on materials as well. But once we've explored and found more stuff, we can get the um, material places up and running again. And it should be all right. It's just we have to get that sorted first. So next thing we have to do is build this. Which we have enough. So if we do that, I think. Do we need it twice? No. A future's well done, Steward. Nearly there. We've just shown it's possible to defeat the frost with this new ice age is simply an obstacle in our way back to warmth. The future is just within our reach. But our path to this point has divided our people. Trouble brews in New London. Chart your course with care. What are they saying now? Radicals from Pilgrim are determined to avenge the loss of their dream. Oh. Pilgrims might, might very well need to be taken care of. They're hostile. Okay, great. Is there anything we can... Oh, saving, which means... It's going to... So, like spend about 10 years oh oh we got that's why oh my goodness was that me who just got shanked chapter 5 the dream of utopia someone just got absolutely like cut up they got wet um assassination in the council steward one of the pilgrims has stabbed speaker of the stalwarts to death at the exact moment 
bands of pilgrims stormed several districts of the city. New London is on the brink of chaos. Stalwarts are furious and terrified. These terrorists have no place in New London. They must either leave or cease to be pilgrims. They get ready to fight back. Banishing the pilgrims would be would punish the crime and unify New London under the ideals of the stalwarts. You could try and stop the madness and seek reconciliation. You would, however, have to ensure con concessions from both sides. The, uh, this is not on the only way, though. Many sit uh, in the city rally behind you. You could retake the captain's lost authority, separate the bickering factions, and enforce order. Banishing the pilgrims seems to make sense because they are insane. Reconciliation seems hard. I don't really want to be a ruler on my own, so I'm going to banish. You have chosen to banish the violent inciting faction from the city. To succeed, you will need to relocate all of its members to a new colony. If you invest in its construction, they will leave out amicably. If you do not, they will have to rely on guards to deport them. Chaos is build, uh, the chaos is binding. If you, if you confirm, you must succeed or your rule will end. Should you not encounter insurmountable obstacles, uh, you should not encounter insurmountable obstacles on your path. Path of banishment. Pilgrims are uh, to be banished from New London, but this is not the death sentence. By other means, they need a new home. An aborted generator site at Windward Moor contains resources needed for a colony, even though the site's deposits are buried deep uh, and it's freezing wind sphere. With some effort, you could take could make it habitable uh, and the pilgrims may emigrate voluntarily otherwise we'll need to force them out we'll restore order okay, okay. pilgrims Stuart. Stuart. we need to get rid of some out oh my goodness okay let's just pause it here we've got enough of people we've got enough food oh we've got enough food Oh, those um, buildings must have done the job. Awesome. That's really good. The only thing we're lacking is... Um, Clear us, Stuart! <laughs> uh, the only thing we're lacking is materials, so we need to figure that out. Let's, uh, okay, let's see this, and then let's see what was it. Boiling tensions. Stuart, the tensions have risen to a fever pitch and threaten to tear the city apart. Angry mobs swarm the city street, the streets. And the city descends into violent free for all. The people have lost faith that your rule can solve the many problems that plague us. The city spirals in chaos. If we do not calm the tension soon and restore order, this will be the end. Okay, let's have a look at. Tensions are severe. New Londoners are hostile. them a little bit more on side. These guys just need to go then. Alright, let's let's see what this is. Military da, 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 da. Ooh, stockpile limits. Yes please, that's what we wanted to do. Cool. So we can increase our stockpile so we can store more food when the days are good. Okay, that's something. Storm watch. Increases exploration speed, which is alright, but it's not great. Um, where is this place that we need to send them off to? Not really sure. The meadow seems like somewhere that might have food. So we're going to go with that. Graveyard doesn't sound like a great place. Reduce tensions to severe. Um, end battling in districts. So how do you end battling in districts? Can we build 
uh, watchtowers in there. No, that's a bit lousy. Let's build a few though. So that we can uh, maybe kind of reinstate some order. So once that's connected, our stockpile should be safe. Speed this up and see what happens. Oh my goodness, it's all, it's all running very slowly. Stewards. Casualties and fightings. 211 stalwarts have died in recent battle. They're overwhelmed and their opponents stormed with fervor and fury in their eyes. This will eventually lead to a one-sided one -side slaughtering of the opposing factions. I don't know how to get these guys to stop, though. Hear us. Stuart. Stuart, you hear us, Stuart? How many is left of these guys? 5,000. 5,000. So it's kind of an even number. Stuart. Stuart. We just Stuart. need to try and win over the other guys. Stuart. Stuart. We are calling you, Stuart. Okay, they're back on neutral. Stuart. 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 Okay. Please stop saying my name. I don't know how we stop this. That's the only problem. Not the only problem. That's, but it's a, a problem. I don't know how we reduce tensions. Let's see the tutorial again. Cold, hunger, disease, squalor, and crime are high. What's, what's high then? Squalor. Because the materials are so scarce. So does that mean that we should be opening up materials instead of... Well, we can't use that, so that's fine. Maybe we should be turning that on. Coal mine we need for heat. This we can turn off. It is turned off. Fantastic. What, what does one do? more materials. Mine. Is this on? This is on. Where is it sending it to? It's sending it to New London. Okay, so we're getting food. We're just lacking materials. And there's nowhere to get materials from here. Oh my goodness, look at all this blackness around the edge. That's never a good sign, is it? How do we get people to calm down? Okay, we've mobilised in forces. Maybe that will help? Like these guys might be 5,100. The vote on New London's proposal is happening soon. I think we're probably worried about other stuff than that right now. Just to be honest. So we've increased our stockpile, which means we can hold 80,000. Which means our food at the moment we can stockpile as much as we can for when we run out. What's this? Ah! We want to connect it using... Okay, we need to um, have enough. We need to have 10, so we need to go off this. To turn off. Let's turn this off for now. For goodness sake, this is impossible. We, we are struggling here, aren't we? New city development effort has been voted in 
by the new Londoners. Okay, with the dispatch construction crews uh, to start setting up Wind, uh, Windward Moor, 1,761 non-belligerent pilgrims have left to join them. We prove that Windward Moor is, can be self-sustainable, more will emigrate voluntarily. We can, however, transfer control of the colony at any moment. If they, there are still any pilgrims left in the city, they can depart. We can depart them by force. Okay. Pilgrims take hostages. Pilgrims have stormed the new district full of stalwarts neighbourhoods. They set buildings on fire and force them to come out before ruthlessly beating them. So these pilgrims are dicks, let's be honest. Uh, the stalwarts had uh, to retreat, leaving many of their own behind. Now the stalwarts are begging that you help them free their captives. They're no, not fighters. Some of them are children or elderly, pleaded the man whose family is held captive. So we can send guards to freedom, or we can ransom them. 300 heat stamps, but their fervor is increased. I don't need the stalwarts. Um, relations to improve with full at the moment. Let's ransom. Okay, let's have a look at this place. Let's get it set up ready for people to... Can I not zoom in? Oh, wait, no, it's still being built. Let's speed this up. Come on. Oh, my goodness. We've got so many people. Oh, heat. Heat is getting better. Okay. Construction is finished. Set up three colonies. We've got an achievement for that. So, first things first, we need to... Uh, our trust is going mental right now. I don't know if we, we survived this, to be honest. Right, so they need... Coal. Materials and food. So let's go up to materials. And then let's up to food. Oh, they got to save themselves. First group banished columns to arrive at their new home. To the pilgrims. Bound for Windward Moor. We can build a house. We send but them some you coal must and stuff. make it your home. Do we have coal? What's going on here? We have coal down. Oh, there you go. We can't send coal because we don't have any. doesn't do anything for them. We don't want to be sending oil. Okay, that, that's fine. Um, we'll send them food. They, they, wrong, wrong way. We'll figure this out eventually. Yeah, that's probably enough. For now, let's do that. So they've got food, but they don't have anything else. And we need to build housing for them. Oh, it's exposed to the wind. I mean, not much we can do about that. We'll build housing. Even though it's exposed to the wind, it's still got positives, like plus heat and stuff, so we should be alright. Alright, then 
we can build extraction on the coal. Annoying that we didn't have that coal exposed there, but that'll do. And then food district here. They can make their own food. And then extraction district here. So Materials. What are they saying? Steward. Let them go. Steward, many stalwarts wonder why we are devoting precious resources to establishing a new home for pilgrims. It's their home. Let them build it themselves, said the spokesperson. The guards can take care of any turn up their nose. Our guards agreed that they could easily round up any pilgrims who refused to leave. We transfer control of the colony to them at the current state, shall we? Um... I can't be able to deal with these guys. We, we set them up as best we can. People of 2,700 are at large now. Once they're gone, we should be alright. We do need to win over the new Londoners, though. Flippin' heck. Stewards, we're us. Chill out. Damn. They're not very happy, are they? We've got food. Oh, we haven't got food now. What happened to our food? Where's our food in the minuses? We've got 42. Ah. Stuff over here to do. Uh, silver automatons. Uh, under the snow lies a convoy of automatons with imperial livery and tarnished silver hulls. These machines seem to have come from the Ashtop Mountains. Scout managed to decipher the last instructions. If no one arrives, seek survivors. Uh, our scouts are confident they could repair the automatons to work in New London. Otherwise, we could repurpose the automaton cores. Yeah, we want... Um, we want the automatons back in our city, don't we? Um, plague shacks take the sick people in uh, ask me later about that I'm not really sure I want to take in sick people right now amidst the icy desolation a circle of nomad elders stand frozen their bodies entwined in the final embrace the united resolve evident as they face their fate together their eyes fixed upon the distant sea uh, frostlanders would be handy To, uh, to have happy. So we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Send the expedition. And then we've got 10 extra. So is this on? It is now. So we're getting stuff from there. We really need food. We round up the hill. Oh, what? Let's do it. I can't really do anything. Is this the district that's kicking off? No, this one is. Where is it dangerous levels? Okay, we need to repair that. Repair it. Oh, it's ongoing. That's why. Okay, it's repaired. Flipping heck, there's battles going on everywhere. Oh, it's all kicking off now. Let's uh, change one of it's saving. How do we get rid of them then? That's what I'm a bit confused by. Finally. Because we've said off you go. And uh, they've said fighters. that they can get rid of them. Put down I'm just kind of waiting for them to get a rid of them. A new future awaits you in your colony. 
What's active more? Outpost 11. Yeah, we get that. So that we can store more. Which we are currently storing. Food and goods. What do they want here? Stalwarts recruit ch uh, children's soldiers. Okay. No. Civil war has engulfed another district. Our guards apprehend a band of children fighting alongside the radical stalwarts. Refused, most refused to talk, but one 11 year old boy broke down and claimed he had been recruited by a stalwart leadership. Uh, some seem rep uh, repentant, but others eager to take the fight to the pilgrims. Um, council representation is extremely decreased per stalwart. This isn't the time to get squeamish. Stalwarts need to have all the people they can get. Um, I don't really want to train the kids to fight. But at the same time, stalwarts are the only people on our side. So there you go. They're fighting for us. We need to get these pilgrims out of here. I trust this. This is all diminishing though. We need to get this sorted or it all kicks off too much. Do you know what though? We're all, other than that, we're doing not too shabby. Let's speed this up and see if we can move this along. I think the pilgrim's number is moving down. But some of them want, obviously want to stay and have a fight. One minute. It's gone up. Pass at least 20 new laws in a single playthrough. We're getting there. We are getting there. But, um... Clean, cleanse the wound. Uh, Stuart, the stalwarts applaud your decision to rid the seat of the murderous pilgrims, but they implore you to rid it of their ideology as well. Um, Apex workers helps us, though. Condemn the pilgrims. Promote the... Let's promote the stalwarts. That, that was good. We still haven't reduced the tension. I don't know how to end the battles. They just still seem to be going on. I don't know what we do to end the battles. Stuart, Stuart. We are calling you, Stuart. We can't mobilize the forces. What can these guys do? Hear us, Stuart. Let's grant agenda. Maybe they'll get a bit more on. Hear us, Stuart. Stuart. These guys are just getting on with it, aren't they? How's their, their city doing? Only 1,700 living there at the moment. So they hate us, but they want to live in it. Hmm, make that work out. Make that make sense, even. Um, hot Spring Refuge. In the heart of the mountain pass stands an old loading station used to connect Outpost 11 with distant hot springs inside. We found the body of an elderly man who had frozen while waiting for a transport that never arrived. One core, 150 prefabs. We have no need uh, for this unless we re-establish contact with the hot springs. Requires a trail to the city. Come back later. We might we might figure out the hot springs. Oh, we need 25. We only got 22. I would really love somewhere that's got food. 25 again. We're going to have to turn off one of our... Is that out of food? Yeah, looks like. No, food remaining. Not quite sure what's the problem with that one. But let's launch the expedition to the ridge line. Hope there's something there. Okay, the number's gone below 3,000 now. How do we round up all the pilgrims? That's the thing. Stuart! 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 I've smeared the pilgrims. Abandoned the cause 388. Emigrated 1761. Detained none. Do we not have like prisons? Or? Oh, 
food setup is very bad right now. I don't really know what to do about food. Because we don't have anywhere else to get food. What are they saying? You hear us? You hear us? Uh, steward, while we all wish we could have the pilgrims depart voluntarily for the new home, the cost of completing their colony will be high. It would be much easier to simply round them up and deport them. Detaining such a large number would, however, require many cost costly prisons. Uh, we could hold them outdoor in outdoor containment pens only until deportation can be arranged, of course. We don't have prisons. Off, off they go to outdoor pens. This sounds dangerous, doesn't it? Off you go. City, <laughs> oh my goodness, this is all going terribly voted. wrong. Come on then. See how many of them are round up. What's going on? Charge humanity. Stuart, the civil war has taken a turn for the worse as it spread to yet another district. Round up the pilgrims. They're the ones who are the problem getting out of here. Thing. We are on the verge of getting rid of people. Allow oh, lethal force. I'm done with these pilgrims now. Get rid of them. One minute. Our, um, our people have done some more exploring. Some survivors in the exhibition have been taken refuge. Uh, let's come back later. People. You can get 100 prefabs. Yeah, go on. Let's take them back. Alright, let's see what they're saying. Boiling tensions. The city must not fall. I, d I don't know if we're going to do this. Oh, it's gone down to severe. Saying that, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. We just have to get through this battle. Get rid of the pilgrims and we should be alright. Uh, to, to decide to detain his fate, you must use the decide detain his fate community action. As we've detained a group of militant, violent faction members. They have been thrown into prison for now, but we still count on them along the members the faction and citizens count them among members of their faction and citizens of our city it's up to you to decide what will become of them how do i do that Stuart. Stuart. is it through here Here, mobilize the enforcers i don't know how oh is it here No. What, what the heck's this? Why is it saying we need to do... Oh. Civil War. Um, I don't really want to read all that. I just want this to be done. This, this bit of the Civil War. Da, 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 da. It's not here then that you decide that tensions have been lowered. It's not the council. It's not the buildings. Not really sure. Oh no. <laughs> Dane detainees died from exposure in outdoor holding cells. Well, to be fair, they started a war in our nice little city, so off they go. Oh, food. In the plains, perfect. That's what we need. And food. We need 25 more, so what do we cancel?
Sounds like that's working, but it's not. Turn this off. And then send people to here. Perfect. What's this? Oh, we already know about that. The pilgrim menace is over. The, la uh, the last task uh, left to you. Decide the fate of those you have detained. How? Where? <laughs> oh, detainees. There you go. Decide detainees' fate. There you go. We can't do that. Exile them. Rehabilitate them. Um, they cause so much problems. I'm not going to rehabilitate them. The enemy is uh, in our midst has been eradicated. Now we we now stand alone as one, uh, without the violent troublemakers to tear our hard-won unity. The end of us. What is a city but an endless void of want? Every day, every minute, these people beg with hands sticky from honey, fat from your meat, with the gall to demand more. So when they came to you to find an entitled demanding their own city, who could blame you for doing the bare minimum? We gave them the bones. If they want, I want it to be a city so badly, let them make it one. And if they fail, it's on them. You've succeeded and rightfully banished your adversary. The city stands. Oh my goodness. That last bit was difficult. Don't let civil war spread over, over five more districts. I think we did quite well because we didn't connect all the districts. Complete the story on any difficulty. We did it. Oh my goodness. That was, that was really hard at the end. But like the game's supposed to be hard, isn't it? I think on any more difficulty... Any, any high difficulty you probably would find that you finish you don't get to the end there it just peters out and you get kicked out so we went with the stalwarts i'm not sure if i i think it all went wrong when i decided to blow up the other city i, sh I think we should have tried to settle there maybe maybe you wanted everyone to get along supported the pilgrims in their vision of the future yeah but then i should maybe i should maybe you try Anyway, I'm going to play this again, and I'm going to try and stick with one faction, rather than kind of going in between. I think I'll stick with the, um, I don't know, I'll probably stick with the, maybe you think the store will work a little bit. Savage, salvage, uh, as a store. big old civil war that seemed to happen forever. Hostility ceased. 176 left the colony in peace and order. I think I probably should have just kept building the city. Condition <laughs> colony abysmal. Hundreds died in the first year. Oh no. That wasn't good, was it? Or maybe... Lily May, 14, trainee. Drafted to the stalwart youth, mother sent to the colony. Trains hard to stop dreaming of her every night. Will have adm admirable survival rates in her interrogation. Interrogation techniques? Is that what it said? Integration, maybe? Maybe you're lying to yourself. Isn't every utopia someone else's dystopia? There you go. Um, well, I, I'm, I love Frostpunk, and this was very different, but uh, to to the first game, but it it was just as like addictive and fun, and just as kind of 
depressing in places. Um, I did definitely lose the plot near the end where I was just training children to fight for the war and stuff. So I'll, I'll admit that. But we got everyone out of the city and I think like food and stuff just like there was a load of new um uh what's it called new like i think if i had gone and done expeditions a lot earlier and opened up the map like before we even started that um chapter three i think life would have been a bit easier with like maybe food coming in from external places or because we i think we did really well up until the whiteout the whiteout finished we got all that sorted. And, like, the thing is, we had high crime for, like, the first three chapters because I didn't sort out goods, which I should have been sorting out goods. Whereas if I were to play it again, I would be able to build basically the perfect setup immediately and then try and spread out. And then I think I probably would follow the Pilgrim's idea because our home base would be looking after itself, basically, rather than... And I think there's a load of things which I haven't learned as well. Like, I didn't use a lot of buildings... I didn't use um, a lot of the laws and like uh, ideas. Like I just kind of let the people suggest them to me for the votes. So I think there was a lot of things which I could definitely do differently. So I'm going to play it again, probably on my own uh, off camera, and see if we can kind of improve on what I've done. But um, yeah, like I love Frostpunk and I really enjoyed this game. Let me know um, what you guys thought of the changes to all of like the different um, setup and everything and um if you enjoyed this game as much as the first one if you even played the first one if you're just picking this one up uh what you think of it if there's anything which you're not so crazy about i think it's very different in terms of it's more of a um you have to worry about more but you don't have to worry about the finer details as much like for instance in the first one you had to worry about collecting wood coal metal cores and other uh, i think there was one other thing i can't remember off the top of my head um but in this one it's just materials materials coal uh cores so it's not like wood and metal it's just any old material um and then you have to worry about goods which is a completely new aspect of the game uh where you have to build goods and stuff uh, the like housing instead of placing single houses or bunk houses or tents or whatever it is you're placing districts so you don't have to worry and it's kind of there was like what I would have wanted and I there might be in there I just didn't see it but I would have wanted a way to improve the uh, like the quality of the housing uh, so it, it reduces the amount of heat demand and um, the comfort so that people are less likely to kick off and things like that but I didn't see that, and that's that's kind of something that I thought was a little bit missing. But other than that, I absolutely loved it. Um, it was definitely one of the games this year which I was super looking forward to. So I'm really happy to be able to play it. There were a few uh, glitches which actually, just before recording this video, I got an update, which and the audio definitely seems to have been improved. So I wonder if the update fixed that, um, which is all good. Like, you know, there is a new game. Sometimes there are little things that they need to fix here and there. But yeah, overall, fun times. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. <coughs> gonna let the credits roll shout out to the music by the way there's the orchestra there the music in this these in the first game and this game absolutely outstanding so
a lot of people go into making the game, don't they? The long old credits. Oh, the Frostpunk 2 babies. Look at all them pets, damn. And there you go. So we have finished the story. Um, definitely, definitely replayable for me. Um, Utopia Build It sounds like just kind of a sandbox, like make your own sort of city and keep it running, which is a really cool idea. Um, so yeah, like even after finishing the story, I'm definitely going to play this again a lot. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys uh, think in the comments. Uh, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it. Uh, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you when I see you.